What's up, YouTube? So, we're gonna do a second prediction check on uh, the predictions board after uh, Azerbaijan Grand Prix that left Esteban Ocon feeling like. Putain de bordel, ça ressemble à de la merde! Allez vous faire enculer! À niquer les chiens d'œuvre pour faire plus d'argent! First, Kimi still hasn't said anything about his retirement. Uh, as for four teams winning races, three um, teams have so far, four rounds in, anything, anything can happen. Honda, good but unreliable, we've already crossed that as a good point. 15 cars get engine penalties, so far four people have Roman Grosjean, Nico Hülkenberg and the two Mercedes as we said on the last review. McLaren, Roan Orange livery, we've already caught that as a negative point, and the fancy red livery is also a negative point. Uh, big crash causes halo controversy, hasn't happened and I hope it doesn't happen. Uh, IndyCar adopts shield but F1 rejected. The drivers say it is the way forward, but I don't... Um, I haven't seen IndyCar official sources saying that it is actually how things will happen in IndyCar. Super hard use only once, once again it's too early to tell. Liberty Media always compensates on grid girls, I've already crossed that as a positive. And the rules of 2021 reform, including MGOH, we already know they don't. Uh, Valtteri Bottas finishing 4th or lower, he is 4th so far but once again we have almost an entire season ahead. Red Bull sign Alonso, we don't know yet, and it and we will not know until the end of the season if they will sign Honda. New aerodynamic rules on ground effect, most of the rules I have seen mostly, mostly have to do with overtaking. Alonso wins Le Mans, Le Mans is going to happen on the 16th or and 17th of June in France, which is again a long way to go. Liberty Media spice up the pre-race show. We've already crossed at a positive point. Uh, Silverstone don't say the British Grand Prix. We don't know yet. One new race winner hasn't happened yet. Vettel scores twice the amount of points as Kimi. You remember the last time the ratio was 1.8. Now it's up to 1.375. Congratulations, uh, Kimi. Someone gets a point penalty ban, it hasn't happened yet and I hope it doesn't happen. Red Bull, I think it's unlikely for them to finish second. William remains the laughing stock of the paddock, they're seventh. Wade event costs the red flag, uh, last year it happened Azerbaijan, this, didn't, this year it happened, but what a race. We still have three points from the chamber board. No one has come out of the closet. Alonso hasn't made a reference to his resting pick from a few years ago. And as for the shitless pictures, here are ones that had scored us points um, last time. Each photo is worth one sixth of a point, with the exception of Lance Stroll's picture, which is worth one twelfth of a point, because we let it score half. Because it won't, because even though it looks beautiful, it's out of the time frame. I was especially looking for a Seven Ocon for him to get a shitless picture, and sure enough, here it is. Now, it isn't technically a picture, it's a video clip in French by um, GQ Originals, whoever they are, in a sauna in, I suppose, Finland. I will play a part of the video clip, but I don't understand almost anything, I don't speak French. Okay, Charles Leclerc it still has that big red axe. Uh, no one, uh, I haven't seen anything about a Russia joke. I'm working on one, but I don't think it will go viral enough to count. Uh, the Mexico Grand Prix is going to happen in October. And as for Kimi on Team Radio, um, he did do a little thing in um, 
in Azerbaijan, in which he took out uh, Esteban Ocon. I totally blame Ocon for it, even though he said that Ocon turned into him. And here's what he said on Team Radio. I just turned into me, the, the horse in there. Oh. Now, Kimi Raikkonen is precisely known for having almost no emotions at all, so we'll cross that as a positive. Crashes in Monaco and Singapore, Monaco hasn't happened yet. No DNFs, well, we had crossed that as a positive point, but turns out that Hartley did retire. No one has been, no one has been, has been disqualified. As for Hamilton's Princess Dressgate, we remember that one, right? Is this what you got for Christmas? <laughs> Why did you ask for a princess dress for Christmas? Boys don't wear princess dresses! He was again nowhere in the beginning of the season. He won in Azerbaijan, but still karma at the beginning of the season. Positive point for us. Foreigner gives an interview in Spanish. Uh, not yet as far as I know. 10 races have first live drama. So far, 2 races have. Uh, the Australian Grand Prix was, well, the first lap was rather dull. Bahrain, obviously the Red Bulls. The Chinese Grand Prix, maybe we could count the the fact that the Force India has tended to, ended up dropping at the back almost at the beginning. But if we meet the point in the future, we'll cross it in the future. Uh, as for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, well, it was hectic the whole way through. Uh, no one has been sent to the back of the grid, Verstappen hasn't been driver of the day for obvious reasons. Um, no one has gotten more than seven, uh, 7 races for one driver of the day. Ocon hasn't been on the podium, he just said it in Azerbaijan, but... Va te faire enculer, Raikkonen, va te faire enculer. Uh, as for the trophy in Mexico, uh, Mexico City given by Enrique Peña Nieto, he will be pretty much a lame duck by the by the time the um, Mexican Grand Prix happens. By the time Formula One comes to Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto will just have one month left in office. Why not do it? But then again, it will be in October. No injuries or death. We've already crossed that as a negative point because of Francesco Sigarini. You know that one. AMLO loses the Mexican general election, this is uh, the, um, the polls and the last prediction, this is how they are now, but still Andres Manuel is many many points ahead, and we don't know yet, probably, who knows. The, the election is, a, is the same day as the Austrian Grand Prix, and in Formula 1, much like in democracy, almost anything can happen. Verstappen does something stupid, we had to cross that off because of China, and he and we have another reason to say he did something stupid in Azerbaijan. They, he, they, here we go. Okay, we'll get used to the halo. Well, I had already get, gotten used to the halo, and then this, there are these halo graphics, which I absolutely love. Ten races will have pit stop problems. I think they probably... Well, three races have had pit stop problems. Azerbaijan for some reason didn't, as far as I know. I'm gonna have to check the recordings as, as soon as I get them. Force India hadn't, hasn't smashed into each other. It probably... Well, they probably won't, they hopefully, hopefully won't. We'll have to wait. The Mexican peso is extremely unstable at the time because of the election, but it will probably stabilize after the election. We'll see if it devaluates or, or if it remains the same or if it will increase in value, we don't know. And uh, the 17th of September obviously hasn't happened yet. But then again, probably something will go wrong. We have 4.75. Once again, we gained um, another. We gained uh, one overall point, but we haven't. Uh, yeah. 
Again, we have 7.75 points up from 6. Of, up from uh, uh, up from 6.6 .6 last time. So yeah. Sorry, uh, didn't had uh, forgotten that one. Uh, I'm going to share with you the um, goofy hooling moments from the last three years. So let's go with that. See the manner of Pascal Verlein alongside him. There comes Marcus Eriksson. Gutierrez who tags Verlein, who then tags Eriksson. Sainz goes into Grosjean and comes off way worse. Is that Sainz's fault? Squeezed him a bit. They weren't going to contact, but uh, and did he attack the wall with the left front wing there? I got damage, got damage. <laughs> Sorted out Kimi Raikkonen in, and uh, he will definitely. Yeah! Kimi Raikkonen out and has hit one of the mechanics. Where did that leave him on the way out? Oh, oh, just yeah! oh, 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 that was inevitable from the moment Verstappen decided to go. <laughs> Okay, that done, we can uh, finally end this, and good luck and thanks for watching. See you later.